Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today was a big day for the 1965 uh, Chevy Chevelle SS Malibu. So today we picked up um, from the guy that sold us a car, um, the 283 small block Chevy. Uh, it's 283, date coded 1965. Um, so it's at least the right year. Um, and we also picked up the Power Glide transmission. Um, we've been working on this all day, honestly. Uh, when we got it, it was all connected and everything. So we had to clean up a bunch of stuff and bag and tag and try to make sure we don't lose any bolts and this and the other. But we, uh, we have big plans for this little motor. Um, really the biggest thing for us right now was to just get it, secure it, and get it here. Um, get it on the engine stand and leave it assembled um, until we are ready. Um, hoping that later this year we'll have the Chevelle in here. Um, same kind of thing's gonna happen. The body will come off over here. Uh, the frame will be here. Uh, my plan is to Purchase uh, all the new suspension, bushings, bearings, all the things, um, and to basically strip the paint off the frame and pour 15, uh, paint the frame, pour 15, and the rear end. It's got the, the 10 bolt that came in it, and uh, basically build the frame right here um, to the point of it will have the rebuilt engine and transmission installed, all the suspension done, stock factory exhaust, drive shaft, brakes, disc brakes on the front. That's the only upgrade I'm really doing that I know of at the moment. Um, and uh, that it's pretty much ready. So we're just really working on the body, um, getting that ready to go and so on. So. Here's kind of the idea with this uh, with this engine, and I've kicked around several different things, and I know I've talked about a lot. Um, what I think I want to do is have this rebuilt. Um, I think I want to do you know, nine six to one uh, to ten to one compression um, with either a set of four sixteen uh, three hundred five heads. I think it's one four one six or something to that effect heads i could be wrong on that um but they're 305 heads with uh with decent size valves with a uh small combustion chamber so they uh these little 283s like that um doing a cam um you know some kind of good cam for this that that works with everything and uh it'll have an elderbrock four barrel intake manifold with a elderbrock four barrel uh, it'll have an HEI distributor. Um, I'm really going back and forth whether or not to just reuse, clean these exhaust manifolds up and reuse them, or to just put a set of block hugger headers on it or long tubes or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, I like all of it. So if I redid these, I'd probably uh, sandblast them, get the Eastwood. Um, they have a, a paint. It's like a coating for exhaust manifolds and exhausts and things of that nature and just coat them and reinstall them that would be the easiest route being i'm going to put a stock exhaust on it um so far at the moment i haven't that's not set in stone but that would be the easy route um but yeah that's kind of what we're doing here um you know we uh the, the power glide um it will be rebuilt it actually so since we're talking about it we um we drained the fluid out of it the fluid looks perfect um looks brand new really uh no shavings or sludge or anything like that um so that's good um some of the seals and stuff uh if you look down in there it doesn't look terrible uh, it looks like it's been rebuilt before um so that's kind of exciting um so yeah so hopefully we'll get that rebuilt. 
I, I, you know, if I need to have it rebuilt, I think I'm going to try it myself. Um, why not? And uh, I got nothing better to do. So I think I'd always, I've always kind of wanted to know how to do it. So I think that might be something that we do. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So we've got the 283, the 1965 date correct block engine um, with a 1965 power glide uh, transmission. And uh, so that's what's going to go in it. That's what we're thinking. Um, for those of you that follow the thing content, this is probably a little bit of a shocker over here. We have wheels, uh, CV axles are in. The, we mounted the engine. Um, it's not on there for good, but it's on there. Uh, I honestly, I needed the engine stand for the 283, so we went ahead and just slid it on here. So there's no clutch or flywheel in here at the moment. But, uh, you know, that's neither here nor there. The, uh, we are still on schedule to get the wheels uh, Tuesday. So hopefully Tuesday I'll have a brand new set of amazing rims and tires for this thing. These are just the stock ones that came on it. I only have two, um, but uh, they were all rusty and nasty, so I just painted them black. I didn't even tape them off. I just shot them. And uh, just to have some rollers, but you can see, look at that tire, <laughs> flat spots in it. If you pick this tire up, it sounds like rocks are falling down <laughs> into the bottom. It's pretty bad. Uh, and really, uh, you know, Clearly flat. This side's flat too. So, but it's better than the rollers that it was on. I painted my new uh, five lug uh, thing brake drums for the rear, and uh, I didn't want to scratch them up and destroy them. So I just figured it was better just to throw some, you know, junkyard wheels on it. And but that's where this is. We're still waiting on our upper control arm up here, um, front upper, and uh, as soon as that comes in this side will look like that side so that's uh that's a thing a thing on the thing and uh so yeah 65 chevelle is uh is getting there so this was a big deal um this is probably you know october kind of thing uh kind of project um but my plan is to try to get this motor built uh, pretty cheaply. I mean, I'm not looking to do anything crazy. I'm not looking to make crazy power or anything. I just want it to be kind of a little snappy, fun 283 for a cruiser that's reliable and, uh, you know, does all the things. So that it needs to do without, you know, anything crazy. So that's the plan and that's what we got. Um, there's a starter that came off the 283 and there's a torque converter out of the power glide. Um, all of it looks pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of grease and gunk and all the things on, on the engine. But, you know, I still need to degrease it, clean it up, and then uh, take it over and get it get it rebuilt. Which will probably be October. Um, you know, I would love to have the Chevelle in here by the end of the year. Um, that would be amazing. But right now we've got the thing has to get done and then we're going to bring the 40 Ford in, get it painted, um, get a windshield in it because the one we have is cracked and, uh, you know, just get it ready to go. We've got rims for it. We got 17, 17 inch uh, uh, American Racing Torque Thrust 2s uh, for the back and we got 15s for the front. We just don't have tires. Um, it needs vintage air, but it's all set up for it. We just got to purchase it and put it in. But one at a time, and that's kind of the hard part of doing this, is just keeping yourself from, uh, you know, you want to buy things, right? Yeah, and uh, there are projects that, you know, we want to do more than others. I mean, I would much rather be doing the Chevelle than the thing. The thing is cool, don't get me wrong. But it's, uh, it's not my bread and butter. It's my first Volkswagen, and, you know. I think we're doing a great job, but, uh, you know, I'd much rather be doing the Chevelle or the 44, you know, but, uh, so anyway, guys, that's what we got. 
We got a 1965 283 and a 1965 Power Glide today for the 1965 Chevelle SS, which is the drivetrain that came in the car. Um, so that's that's huge. This is not out of a Chevelle. This came out of a, I want to say Impala. Um, but it's the right ear, so that, that helps. I can't uh, put the correct VIN dated 283 in it, but I can get a date coded correct, period correct 283, and I think that's probably good enough in today's world. So anyway, guys, have a good one. Uh, we are uh, we're rocking. It's a rainy day here. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back on the body of the thing and uh, doing metal repair and uh, getting that down the road and I'll keep uh, making videos for you guys. So uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I did this one, I believe, in landscape. I'm trying. Uh, so if this looks terrible, please tell me. Um, but I'm trying to... I saw some comments and stuff. I'm trying to trying to make these better. So anyway, have a good one, guys. And we'll, uh, we'll talk at you tomorrow.